Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Pisces. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the month of October. So we're just going to see what comes up. This is for Pisces for October. Let's start right here. What do we have for Pisces? Oh. You're going through a change, and you're going to have a profound change, okay? Um, going through some sort of transition, okay? Um, with a new beginning. A new beginning is coming, but before that new beginning is an ending. So, it is what it is. What do we have for Pisces? Ooh, taking risks. Yeah, you're good at that, aren't you? So this is taking risks. This is, is going to be pretty risky by the looks of things. And I think that you need to take a risk. Perhaps you need to broaden your horizons. Maybe it's time for you to soar. Maybe it's time for you to go someplace else. You know, that's what it looks like to me. This is, this is fly. This is flying. This is freedom. Okay, you're free. You're free to go wherever you want. Look at those wings. Wow. You're flying. You're flying high. <laughs> yes, sir. What do we have for Pisces? Looks like it's pretty hot there. Maybe you're you're going someplace where it's a lot warmer. Maybe you're moving. There's, it looks like it's really hot. The star. Now the star comes after the tower falls. Okay, so you may be experiencing a tower moment. All right. Um, you might. I mean, this comes after the tower. So you don't get you don't get the star card unless the tower has fallen. Remember, I said that profound change. What I saw when I was shuffling was the death card. Okay, so no, whatever is happening is an ending that leads to a new beginning. So you do have help that is arriving. Somebody is coming to guide you. They're coming to help you. Your help is coming. Help is arriving. Someone's gonna pull you out of this mess. Whatever this mess is, help is arriving. Don't give up hope because somebody's, this is like a guide, okay? You are going to be guided out of this mess. Whatever this rubble is, whatever this catastrophe was, help is arriving, okay? That's what this is. All right, and maybe the tower fell because you took a risk. I don't know, but I feel like you're going to be taking another risk. I do, because I don't think that you stay down for long. I do feel like you are about to embark on a new journey. And I think that you're, you're going to be going to be guided. Somebody's guiding you. And it could be somebody that has passed away. It could be somebody sending you an earth angel. Another one. What do we have? What do we have for Pisces? I think that's good. I think what's happening is, is you're going to be experiencing a change and you need to have faith and trust in the universe. Okay. What's happening now, something has crumbled or it's crumbling as we speak or in the near future. It's happening because you're being called to start over. You're being called to start with a, a, a clean slate. And you need to take another step in that direction. And I don't think it's easy. I think that you know, you've been having a hard time making a change, having a hard time making a choice, maybe feeling a little confused or overwhelmed in your thoughts with what the next step would be. But I think that there's some sort of guidance here and you're going to be guided. There is divine guidance. You're going to be guided in the direction that you need to go. Something is ending that is meant to end. Okay, it's meant to end or it has ended. It's it's meant to. And I feel like you've it's been resisted. But the universe has some sort of plan for you. And they're going to pull you out of this mess. Dark man. 
dealings or relationship with a man with a dark complexion or hair. So somebody with dark hair, dark man is going to help you. Sun, happiness and well-being. It's interesting because I mentioned hot, heat. You may be, some of you are moving to a warmer place, okay? Somebody may be helping you. Maybe it's this man. Um, this could be the man that caused the catastrophe as well. That's what I just heard. This could be the problem. Anyway, happiness is coming. You have a renewal here. You do. Your health is going to get better as well. As soon as you take this risk and, and, and go. Because that, that's flying somewhere. Going somewhere. You are going to be going somewhere. You could just be doing the planning. I'm not sure what's going on. But uh, something to do with the heat. Hot. Really, really, really hot. Whatever that means. Um... What do we have for Pisces for October? Oh. Eight of Swords. Eight of Swords is prison. Okay, it's a mental prison. It's uh, trapped, trapped in fear. Uh, something to do with legs. Legs, you need to move. You need to get walking. You need to you need to do something. Now there could be something happening with your legs this month. You may have some pain in your lower extremities and like your lower legs, you know, your calves. Uh just saying. Anyway, I feel like you've been in a situation where you haven't you definitely haven't been seeing clearly. Okay, you've been we've been you may have been in some sort of denial. That's a mask. Wearing a mask over your eyes which, which her hands aren't tied. Somebody, you can take them, you can open your eyes at any time, but I feel like you've been choosing not to. You've been choosing to live in some sort of denial or stay in a situation that, you know, you've been trapped in. You Maybe you were confined to this situation. You chose to, though. It's like you could have left at any time, but you chose not to. So that's interesting. High Priestess Reverse. Now, this is not listening. Not listening to your gut. Not listening to your intuition. Uh, totally unaware, totally unaware that you of the signs of, of or not not listening to the messages that you were receiving. You know, ignorance is bliss, right? Let's just ignore it. Let's ignore the messages that I'm getting, right? Who seven of swords reversed? Well, now this is a needing to ha come up with a plan. I think that you have some outdated thinking here and you need to let go. You need you need to let go of something. You need to take a new approach. It feels like you've uh, missed something. You may be needing to escape. You may be running away. Maybe you need to run away. Maybe you need to get the hell out of here. That's what it looks like to me. There's definitely some self-deception here. A lot of it. All three of these cards. You thought somebody been lying to themselves. Have. Interesting. And this is this is like a high risk, and then we have taking risks. I feel like you need to take a risk. Obviously you do. You've been staying in a safe situation. It's time to explore. It's time to freaking explore. There's there's somebody that that can help you. There's somebody that is waiting for you to ask for help, perhaps. Interesting. What the hell is this? 4 of cups. That is really discontent. It's missing an opportunity. So yeah, there's you've been missing an opportunity. That four of cups, you've been ignoring something, ignoring an opportunity. You have. It's like you've been focusing so much on a sad situation that you've thrown something away, or you've missed an opportunity for love, or something like that. There's a lot of discontent here, but you've chosen to. You've chosen to sit here and confine yourself to a situation that is safe, but not happy. 
That star is a card of renewal. It's a card of hope. There is hope. This is a new purpose. This is a wish being granted. All you got to do is ask. Now, this is a blessing in disguise after the tower falls. So you are experiencing or you have experienced the tower moment that, you know, you may have thought that you weren't going to make it. You may have thought you were going to die or something like that. Now help is arriving. Somebody that is, this guy person has a bat, is a star. This person, somebody could even be famous. There's a star there. So we have a star. This is the star. Star of the show. This person is, is coming to help or can help or something like that. Hmm. Seven of Pentacles. Now this is thinking about investment. Invest. Somebody has invested a lot already. Invested a lot of time. You're probably thinking about everything that you have been invested in. Thinking about all you have. Thinking if it's time to relocate. If it's time to go some. It is time to relocate. By the looks of things, it's time to go. Leave the other shit behind and go. You're probably thinking about relocation. I think this does have to do with relocation. Eight of Cups reverse. Now the Eight of Cups is definitely thinking about. You're thinking about leaving. <laughs> Just clarified what I said. You are thinking about leaving, leaving everything behind and starting over someplace else. I think that you have dreams and wishes that haven't been fulfilled yet, but you've been staying in a situation where there's a bunch of rubble, where there's a bunch of garbage, and you need to get the hell out of there. You're wasting your time. Eight of Wands, get moving. You're ready. I think you are ready. I feel as though you're you're really ready. You're really, really, really ready to go, ready to move forward. I think that you're ready to run. You are definitely ready. You're on the verge of running away from this mess. I think you're in some sort of mess and you're ready to leave it behind. I do think that you will be moving forward. I would say by, you know... Uh, well, we have these eights, the sevens and the eights. Something about the eighth, maybe. Thinking about it. Hmm. Thinking about it. Communicating. Wanting to leave. Ten of Cups. Looking for wish fulfillment. Looking for happiness. Something to do with water. You may be moving nor towards water, heading towards the ocean, heading towards the water. Um, moving towards happiness. You will be moving towards, you're going to be communicating with somebody as well. I feel like you're going to be messaging, communicating with somebody that you are in some sort of alignment with. Maybe you're going to go with this person. Could be a family member, doesn't have to be. Could be a friend. You may be looking for something permanent. Maybe you're moving someplace, you know, permanently. Seven of Cups, you have multiple options. You're gonna have to make a choice. You are gonna have to make a choice. This choice has to do with leaving the past behind because you notice there's six cups upright and one that is reversed. So that is a loveless situation. Leaving the past behind. Communicating with somebody. Making plans. I feel like you're going to be making plans with somebody. You have options. You have choices. You have to choose your next step. I do believe you are being guided by somebody. It almost feels like it's somebody that has passed away. It doesn't have to be. I do feel like there's help. There's somebody here on earth that can help you as well. 
I feel as though you need to escape. It's time for you to escape this crap. I think you're in a pile of crap. Um, and I see you moving forward towards happiness, moving forward towards happiness, but you're going to have to make a choice. And there's consequences for your choice. And you may have to choose to leave something you have invested in behind. You invested in it. There's no more growth. It's not growing. Leave it behind. Fuck it. Happiness is waiting for you. So anyway, I feel like by the end of this month... I don't know. I don't even think it's by the end of the month. Something about the 7th, 8th. 7th, 8th. Maybe it's the 17th, 18th. That could be the case. When's the... I don't know when the full moon is in October. I don't have that part of my calendar open, but maybe it's around the full moon. Something about escaping with that Seven of Swords. That's, that's like out of here. I do think that you need to be careful. I think that you need to be careful because, you know, there's consequences for staying even where you're at. Now you have, you have three sevens here and isn't like seven one of your numbers? Seven, seven, seven. Seven, seven, seven is a number from heaven. Seven is a number from heaven. You are being guided. It's about faith. You need to have faith in the divine plan. I think you are being divinely guided to take a new path. There's been a lot of sadness. There's been discontent. I think you've been just like holding out, waiting for things to change. It's, it's time, and you've been getting messages that you've been ignoring. You've been ignoring messages from whoever this person is that has passed away. They've been giving you all kinds of signs, and you, and you hear them. I know that you do, but you don't listen to them. Start listening. I feel as though you have confined yourself to a situation because of things that you have invested in. To hell with the things. They're just things. Happiness is more important. You may have been pretending to be happy for quite some time. What good does that do you? It's refusing to move on. Just go. You know, I wonder if there's some sort of illegal activities here with the Seven of Swords reversed. You know, there could be, and that could be getting caught. You know, maybe you've got yourself caught up taking some risks in some illegal dealings, and now you got to get the hell out of there to save yourself. I'm not saying that's what, you know, it's a good thing to do, but, you know, i got to say what I say. I mean, whatever comes out, comes out. Um, I do see you moving forward very, very fast, making probably a pretty quick decision to depart a situation. And I think that you've been unhappy in this situation for quite some time. It's like you're, you're, you couldn't move you and you wanted to move. So anyway, I feel as though you're going to be, it's like, you, this is like getting rescued. So I'm not sure what is happening, but there's like a rescue operation here. But you have to reach out for it. You know, you have to step up. You have to say something. It's, it's crazy. Anyhow, I do see you headed towards happiness this month. I do. I feel like you're going to be leaving something behind. I think this is risky, but I think that you should do it. Some of you are going to be moving. You're going to be moving where it's warmer. There's a warmer climate. It's, it's, an, it's a nice bright place. You need to listen to your intuition. Stop ignoring it. Stop pretending to be happy. Stop pretending to be happy.
You need to have faith. One more card. One more card for Pisces. <sighs> One more card. Here it is. Two of Swords. Painful, stressful decision. Yes, is your choice. You have to face your fears. I, I, it's like you're torn. You're torn between two relationships or two avenues. You got some sort of divided loyalty and it's like you're caught in the middle and you're in some sort of denial and you're unable to see the truth because fantasy is overriding. And you're blocking your emotions. You need to open up your eyes and follow the path that is best for you. And you probably need to protect yourself from people that take advantage of you. Ah, I do see a change, of course. You are destined for a change. This is the wheel of life, okay? It's the wheel of fortune. This is positive change. Life is always changing. So you are a cycle that you have been involved in is coming to an end. Because it is time for a positive change. It is time for something positive in your life. It's time for a new beginning. This is the end of one cycle and the beginning of another. But this is also about free will. Yes, this is a card of destiny, but it's also a card of free will. You have to spin that wheel. This is good luck. So I think your life is destined for a change. That cycle of your life that has been a pile of rubble or whatever the case is that you have been left to, I don't know, die in, you, you got to get out of it. You got you to gotta get out of it. It's like the universe is trying to help you. Just go. Leave it all behind. You don't need any of that. It's You don't. You don't need any of it. Happiness is more important. Choose, this is choose, happiness. Don't choose those monetary things that are holding you back. Fuck it. Good luck.